Well, seeing as I can't do anything else, I can't go out, so I might as well stay in, come out into the shed and the garage, <coughs> and see about doing my neighbour a bird table that she want, and we'll do it in bits and pieces. Um, and after I'll post some pictures of other bits and pieces that I've done in the past. Oh all my crap in here. Anyway, let's get going and cut some wood up and see what we've got. So this is going to be the base for the bird table to start with. Um, slots all the way around the edges to let the water drain. So now it's just a case of doing the uprights for the corners, the roof, and I'll cut those now and then we'll get on with uh, assembling it and doing everything later on. four posts all angled at 30 degrees for the pitch of the roof I'm now going to put a brace in across here and then uh, we'll go from there so uh, let's mark and measure those and then see how far we get right just to help me speed things up a bit <coughs> what I'm going to do these bits I'm going to use some of this CA glue. Yeah, they call it CA glue. Just put it on there. See a bit. Just activator. There. Just line them up, squeeze them together. You can actually hear it sizzling as it works. Hold on there for a few seconds. Leave them there. Next bit. A little bit of glue on there, just like that. <coughs> Activate on this bit, squeeze that, line that up, whilst sizzling well. You ain't going to hear it, but it is really so it sounds like a sausage in a frying pan. Like that, there, yeah, it's all nice and set, doesn't take long. So I'm now about to line these up and uh, see how they go, because obviously these bits are going to go go on here like that. So I'm now going to line all those up, hang those, and see what that looks like. All right, let's get that done. So that's the main frame done on the roof and everything. All the uh, sides, gable ends if you like. I decided to put a couple of strengthening beams on this one. I didn't normally bother, but I thought I would. <coughs> so it's now the case of just doing the roof. Uh, and then hopefully that will be the main main bit done. And it's just onto the, the stem, the base and everything else. So uh, I'll see what wood i got for the roof and we'll get that done. If we go. All I do, like everyone else, I just set up a little stop block here from the, the extra bits of the mitre gate and uh, butt the bit of wood up and let's cut that so we'll get them done. Sitting there somewhere, something like that. this end off. It's not very nice. Right there. Oh. That's them done. One, two, three. 
four. I'm going to give them a quick sand and then we'll miter them up at 30 degrees so they fit the pitch of the roof and I'll see how they go from there. Right, I'll set the table saw up to 30 degrees so it's the same pitch as the house. And on the bits where I've got a cut, what I do is I put a little mark, a little pencil mark there, and another one just there, if you can see that, just there. So I don't cut up the wrong way, because that's what I tend to do. So I'm just going to rip them through there now to get the angles, and then we'll see if the roof fits. Just roughly holding up by hand at the moment. That's what the roof's going to look like. That's all on that. Nice little overhang on each side. That'll do me. So I'm just going to glue it, draw some holes, screw it. That'll be the roof done. And then that can go uh, be sanded down properly. And then uh, painted green. And we'll do that shortly. So I'll, let me fix this roof and I'll get back. It's all on, all done. So that's not too bad, it didn't take too long I suppose. It's not going to fall apart. So I'm just going to give it all the sand down now. And uh, clean it all up. And then I might spray that green to get it done. So I'll sand it up now. The lady who actually yeah, wanted this wants long legs on it so it doesn't blow over so it's <coughs> a bit different to what I would normally do um, so what I'm going to do I've got the pole the shaft if you like these are going to go out each side of it so the pole is going to come up here and all I'm doing is cutting a little sort of little scallopy bit off the ends of them of which I've marked marked there and on that one I'm just going to cut them out just to just for no other reason just put a little bit of shape on it and uh just be a bit different really so if i can set you over here somewhere something like that if you don't fall over all i've got to do is just trim these off You're gonna say, stop him. You're gonna say I have this up high. Well, the main reason is all this uh, adjustment stuff in the, on this one is actually buggered, so it doesn't work. <coughs> um, 
and also because I've got a window right behind it it lets all the light in behind there and I can see what I'm doing so I'll cut these and then uh, we'll see about attaching them to the pole so the legs <coughs> are obviously going to go like that this one is going to go the, that way across there like that this one will come out like that and what I'll probably end up doing is putting a little brace from inside here it comes down to the back of that just to give it some s bit more support so it doesn't bend and twist in the wind but I'll get these screwed on and we'll see what it looks like ok let's uh, put a bit of glue in there so let's now screw these ones back on it This might bench this a bit wonky. No, I'll let it trim the bottom a bit. Spin him round. That'll go in there. Plenty of glue in there. Okay, so that's that's the actual legs done. I might just do some supports on that now, like I say, from there to there, just to help her so they don't twist in the wind. I'll see what I've got wood-wise in them. We'll cut that, and then we'll see about attaching the top, which I've already cut these bits, which will go obviously at the top onto there like that. And then the top sit on the top, but I'll explain all that in a minute. It's all straightforward stuff. Right, <coughs> so that's what they're going to do. They're just, just going to go on there like that. Down to the bottom like that. Just the same as I've already done that side. Down there. So we'll stick that on there. Put the balance you on there somewhere. Where you can see. Something like that. It's already been pre-glued. I'll put the glue on it. Yeah, hold in there. Grab a small screw. <coughs> These are just little 40 mil by 3 mil ones. Change the bit, and then. Go in there like that. So that's all now attached. Glue off there. So I've just got to do these other two sides now, come down from there, and obviously down from that side. Then we'll see what it looks like. So it's coming together. So that's what we've got. Nice, nice solid base, nice long legs, what she wanted. It's just a case of now attaching the actual box onto the top of the post. Uh, which we are going to use oops, these bits for. They're going to go on the side like that. You might be able to see that. Like that. And all I do is I'll get a bit of wood and I'll screw it across the top. And then these bits 
butt up to it uh, so I know they're flat but I'll show you that in a minute <coughs> okay so that's the stand all done the top bits on the angles and then all that's left to do is to centre that up park him on there and uh, it's all done I could have it that way if I wanted makes no difference, just center it all up, all lined up. Right, so it's time to stick some screws underneath here. In fact, what I am going to do, I say that, mark it all out and put the screws in the base of this <coughs> so they go down rather than up. Holds it better, I think. Right, let's get that sorted and coloured. And then uh, see what it looks like. Not bad, eh? <coughs> so there it is, pre-coloured. So get some colour on it, and then we'll see what it looks like. 